welcome to another video. If you haven't already, do me a favour, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, thumbs up and comment down below at the end of the video what you think, what whether you think my choices of modifications, which I apologise if I sound very nasally, I've got a bit of a cold, I'm trying to get over it. Um, I wanted to push this out because it's been a long time coming this video and my last video about cars was my old car, my BMW, and now that's gone. <laughs> And I've got a new car. Let's go and uh, enjoy the video. One thing that I'm not hugely um, impressed with, but I've got, I'm getting used to it, is the electronic handbrake. I'm used to a pull-up thing. This is you press it down to take it off, but you have to put your foot on the brake, and then you put your foot on the brake and pull it up. And, it... and then the car decides how much handbrake is required to grip the car. Things that I need to fix, but I think a few things I actually really like. I like the fact that it has Bluetooth, so I can listen to my my tunes on my my phone through there. And if I'm going to the gym and I want to get in the mood, like I've just been to the gym now and I want to get in the mood for it, I'll put the tunes through my radio. This button does uh, make that screen go up and down as you see fit, but I don't see the point in it, I just leave it up. I, never, I haven't taken that off yet, that's a traction control so you don't slide. That's just whatever. That's a stop start. Well, that's one button I don't like, it's a stop start thing. Once your car started, it's only using a small amount of fuel to keep it going. Every time you stop your car and you start again, it still needs that extra, that say 1.6, you still needs 1.6 litres of fuel to start it. So starting it and stopping it to me is, is, isn't very efficient. I don't think, but that's just the way I felt, it's just what I think. I want to put a sat nav in this car, so the sat nav will go into the slot, will go into one of them slots there, and then they'll go on the top of into there, in there. As here, as a, it has a nav, it doesn't have a sat nav capability at the minute, because it doesn't have the SD card, so I will be putting the SD, getting an SD card soon. Not from Audi, because they cost a fortune, as you know. Radio, it's my radio station, so I just have to go through all the DAB radio stations. Media is what you do when you flick down and you you go onto your um, your mobile phone. That's the media. You flick that, it flicks over to the Bluetooth. You can see on here got um, tone, which is basically setting up where everything is, uh, where the music coming from. When I got this car, for some reason I got it off my mother-in-law. This car, and for some reason. Um, she decided to have all the music coming out from the rear speakers. I don't know why. Maybe she didn't have a clue how to use it. So I, it was, it was set in the in the back. So I sent it more to the to the centre of the of the car. So every speaker is used. Um, obviously, radio there. I said media is there. Is, is is if I've got a disc in, I guess I don't have a CD in it, but I have my Bluetooth on my on my phone. Uh, general settings of the car lights you have to apologize i have i have had this car now for about eight months um, it is a bit of a work horse at the minute um so i say it's new it's it's not new it's a 14 plate um and it's not new anymore to me but it is my new car um i have many plans for this car i will tell you what the plans are in a minute i'll show you the outside of the car show you what, show you what i like about the car what i don't like about the car um so the first thing I don't like is these wheels. I do not like these wheels. So I'm going to probably get some new wheels, I think. I don't like the wheels because they're just awful. So I'm going to get some other ones, but I'm not getting aftermarket ones. I'm getting actual uh, Audi ones, but better ones. I've never had a diesel before. Um, but apparently I can soup it up, so that is one thing I'm going to do. I might get it remapped. I might even put another exhaust on it, I might get a better exhaust, because that is a pathetic of an exhaust, isn't it? And my dash cam up there because, you know, don't trust people driving it these days. Uh, there is quite a lot of uh, headroom in here. I mean, there's a good, what, five, six inches of headroom. Me sitting here, so, and it is a bit like I say, it's a bit of a work half. Got my brand there, um, lots of room for these seats here. I mean, you got they thought of anything, didn't they? Look at that, got little thick rivets for your knees, they thought of everything. I am going to do this car, I'm going to uh, tint these windows because they're not tinted. I'm going to get the t windows tinted 
the back one's tinted. I'm not going to get the uh, sun visor thing here. I was going to get the chameleon um, windscreen thing, but it costs the same amount of, for that as it does for the uh, to get that done. So one windscreen for all these windows. I don't think so. This is my car. Dead. New wheels are going to happen. My new car, 14 plate, 1.6 TDI. I am going to get it uh, to get it remapped. Yeah, one thing I do miss about my other car, which bits like you would have guessed already, I've sold my other car. Not happy. It just it, it wasn't the best car. It was probably my second worst car. Bypassed my Punto. Um, the only thing is, is with my with my BMW, it had a cigarette lighter around there and a cigarette lighter down there. This one's only got one, which is down there. So now I've had to get this this thing so I can plug in my dash cam and charge my phone and other stuff, which I'm not happy about, but whatever. Um, it's just a simple, no frills car. It's simple. All the stuff it wears on most cars. You have everything around here. This is basically around here, it's way better, volume control, radio, etc, etc. As you can see the boot is a bit of a workhorse, because basically that's the reason why I've not been uh, posting anything on my cars recently. I've been doing my house up, I live in a 200 year old house and it's about, I'm just doing the house up basically as we go. We've got many plans, tears about my house. On my channel if you want to go to there you want there check it out that'd be very helpful and uh, appreciated uh, but that is why i've got crap everywhere plasterboard everything in the back in the boot is disgusting but cars aren't there to look pretty all the time either they're there to to work hard as pull back but i'm thinking about uh, um, remapping it so i might do down the line but the first thing is to do is i'm going to tint the windows I'm changing the uh, the wheels, so stay tuned for those two mods. Um, what colour tints? Which I'm thinking black tints, and I'm, not, I'm, I'm looking at different wheels online. But I'm not doing aftermarket. I'm doing um, uh, I'm doing Audi ones, and I'll sell these Audi ones. I want to kind of look, make it look um, OEM but with my design. I've just been to the gym, so I apologize for the state of me. I am wearing my, uh, go to the gym, I always wear my, uh, let's get it, uh, uh, app apparel clothing. So uh, if you please go to Instagram on to, and go to LGI underscore clothing and follow this brand. It is a passion project of mine. But yeah, it's a decent car. It does the job at the minute. Um, I've got plans for it, so stay tuned for those plans. I think tinting for the for the summer, I think, and the, and the wheels for the summer because you want to look. You want you when you're driving your car in the summer, you want to look fucking you want to look fresh and mint. Uh, so yeah, um, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for another, for another video and all the upgrades because this is going to be the project car that my channel is going to be built on. So yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.